Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about fast transistor logic. Fast transistor, we know there are two types of fast transistor, NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor. NMOS transistor can be acting as a fast transistor by giving the input as 1. See here, fast transistor can be either NMOS or PMOS. If NMOS device is used as a pass transistor, this is the pass transistor, uh, that means that there is no a new transistor, it is nothing but a mass transistor that is uh, used in this fashion. That means we are giving the input here and taking the output here. And this is the control input we are giving VDD to pass the current in this direction. Okay, so that the data will be going to the output and output is equal to input when here we are giving logic high and output is equal to 0 when we are giving 0 here the, when the transistor is in off state. Okay, and coming to the PMOS transistor, as we know PMOS transistor will switch on when we are giving a logic 0 input voltage and it is the input voltage and it is the output voltage. So here output is equal to 0 output is equal to 0 when the transistor is in off state that means when we are giving VDD output is equal to V in when the input gate terminal is connected to ground okay but the problem is when we are taking the NMOS transistor here it is having a threshold voltage VT so output is equal to always practically we can say practically V out is equal to V in minus Vt. So we will not get 100% voltage, we will get that input voltage minus the threshold voltage of the transistor. So this threshold voltage is nothing but a resistance. When the transistor is in on state, it is showing some resistance. The voltage across that resistance, we can take it as a threshold voltage. So similarly with the PMOS transistor, So practically we have output voltage V out is equal to here V in plus V T. Okay, this will happen when the input of the gate of the PMOS transistor is connected to ground. Okay, so input plus V T here PMOS transistor is having a threshold voltage which is negative threshold voltage. So V in minus of minus that becomes plus. That is the reason why we have got plus here. Okay, so here the threshold voltage is we can say minus Vt. That means V out is equal to V in minus of minus Vt that becomes V in plus Vt. So, in practical applications when we are using a pass transistor either it may be NMOS transistor or it may be a PMOS transistor, there we will not have 100% voltage swing logic. That means 0 when logic 0 means 0 volts, when logic 1 means uh, 5 volts. So, this type of voltage logic switch will not occur because of these additional subtracting voltages. Now, what is the, even though when what is the use of this pass transistor logic? Pass transistor logic is it is a simple logic used to implement. any logical circuit used to implement any type of logical circuit okay that is the main reason with when we are going to the fast transistor with very less number of transistors even though it reach, it uh, represents the logical functions suppose if you want to implement an and operation then we are taking a logical function like this see here two pass transistors we are using with the control inputs B and B bar and the original inputs to be transmitted is A and 0. That means if you take the point here, what is the voltage here? A into B. A into B. So the input voltage and the control voltage, these two multiplication will give you the output voltage A into B. And here it is simply 0. You can say it is simply 0 because 0 into B bar that becomes 0. Okay, output at this particular point, you can see it is the drain voltage, it is the, uh, sorry, it is the source and it is the drain. 
there we are having the output as the multiplication of control input and as well as the input original input okay so when we are having the output of the overall function this plus represents the addition this here dot represents the addition so a b plus 0 that is nothing but a b this is the way how to realize any type of logical function using pass transistor so the figure shows an end operation with two pass transistors An end operation with two pass transistors. Similarly, we can create any type of logical function that may be AND, OR, OR, NAND, NAR. So, let us simplify and design a NAND complementary pass transistor operation. See, NAND operation, NAND use, uh, using NAR. Uh, using NAND, NAND, and okay, NAND using pass transistors. NAND using pass transistors. Same similar structure we will be having like this with input B, and one more transistor is there with input B bar. That means which is a complement of other input. The addition of these two will give you f is equal to a into b bar, a into b whole bar. Okay, see here it is b bar and it is a bar. Then we will get this particular realization f is equal to a b bar. So, how to get this a b bar and from this? See, we know let us calculate the a boolean expression at each and every step which is nothing but a multiplication of a and b so this is a bar b and here also it is nothing but b bar b bar into b bar whether it is 0 or 1 both are same so 0 into 0 is equal to 0 1 into 1 equal to 1 okay see here now a bar b plus b bar a bar b plus b bar here we have now function a bar b plus b bar Now, how we can equate this particular a bar b plus b bar in uh, to this say a b bar? Take the same expression, take a bar a into b bar a, a bar into b plus b bar, do it as a bar b plus b bar, do it two times complement. So, apply one complement inside a bar b whole bar into b bar bar cancel it is bar and now it is a plus b bar into b that is equal to a into b here we have one more you should not forget it so now a into b plus b into b bar 0 whole bar so that is equal to a b bar so in this way NAND operation can be yielded with the pass transistor logic similarly let us see the R operation R gate so how to construct R gate structure limit uh, remains same here also we have transistor now for NOR operation, it is A bar, B bar, B, B bar. Here it is B bar, B. Now, what is the function of F here? A bar, B bar. Here we will be having A bar, B bar. Here we have B into B bar. B into B bar is equal to 0. So, A bar B bar whole bar that is equal to A plus B 
whole bar a bar b bar whole bar whole bar okay so it is a plus b whole bar so this is the uh, we can say which is nothing but it is nor operation not it is or it is nothing but nor operation okay similarly let us try with or operation all these gates are important using this uh, pass transistors or gate using pass transistors similar structure will come for all the different types of logical gates but with different set of inputs that inputs decides the type of the logic function that we are going to use and remember all these are and must transistors only now for our operation we will be having here b here b here a and here b bar so what is the logic function or y at the output y is equal to so here it is now a into b bar from the first pass transistor it is a into b bar plus from the second pass transistor it is b apply two complements so apply one complement inside a bar b plus b into b bar so here also it is a bar b bar plus b bar a bar b bar plus b b into b bar it is zero so a bar into b bar whole bar that is equal to a plus b whole bar whole bar 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 cancel it is now a plus b so in this way a plus b operation can also be constructed using the pass transistors any type of logical function that can be implemented using pass transistor in a simple way without uh, one more important point is uh, it will not take more number of transistors so with very less number of transistors the corresponding logic function can be realized that is the advantage of pass transistors but the problem is 100 percent voltage swings will not occur that means extreme ends will not occur if you are giving 5 volts and 0 volts this type of voltage swing may not occur because of the threshold voltage we have seen in the beginning uh, threshold voltage for the nmos transistor it is negative uh, sorry positive and threshold voltage for the pmos transistor is negative so when we are taking the output one is subtracted and one is the added okay so other than that fast transistor is very useful it takes very less number of transistors to any type of logical functions